Hey Kipsters, happy Fall Out of Bed Friday. It is time to do our calendar just like we have been doing the past couple of weeks as we've been practicing online learning. I know that it's the month of April. It's the month of April. Awesome, awesome job, friends. And when we met last time on YouTube channel, it was Thursday. I'm wondering what day is today. Let's sing our Days of the Week song so we can figure out what day is today. My friend Lion up here is going to help us sing. Days of the week. 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 There's Sunday and there's Monday. There's Tuesday and there's Wednesday. There's Thursday and there's Friday. And then there's Saturday. Days of the week. 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 So if yesterday was Thursday, what day is today, Lion? What day is today? He just whispered in my ear and he said that today is Friday, friends. Today is Friday. Today is Friday. All day long. All day long. Yesterday was Thursday. Yesterday was Thursday. Tomorrow will be Saturday. Tomorrow will be Saturday. Oh, what fun. Oh, what fun. So now I know it is April and it is the day. To, the day is, is Friday, silly me. The day is Friday, but what is the date? Hmm. I'm going to look at my number and then I'm going to see that on Thursday, yesterday, it was the 9th. What comes after 9? What is one more than 9? 10, you are absolutely correct. And how do I write the number 10? A 1 and a Zero. Awesome, awesome job. So let's say today is April 10th, 2020. One more time. Today is April 10th, 2020. It is April 10th, 2020. But I see a pattern in my calendar. Put a finger on your nose if you see a pattern on your calendar. Even Lion's putting a finger on his nose. Friends, I see there's a shape. And this is a shape of it. This is a triangle. And I know it's a triangle because it has one, two, three sides. Can somebody tell me if it went above, below, above, below, above, below, above, below, above, where my triangle should go now? You are absolutely correct. My triangle should go below my number 10. So I'm going to put my triangle below my number 10. And I'm going to think, hmm, what's going to happen next in my calendar if my pattern continues? Stay tuned for our videos on YouTube to see what happens next. Let's say goodbye to my calendar and let's say hello to my points. Let's sing my song with me. Sing it with me, friends. Ready? Penny, penny, easily spent. Copper brown and worth one cent. Show me on your fingers how much it's worth a penny. One cent. It's worth one cent. Awesome job. Let's read the next coin. It's a nickel. It's a nickel. Awesome job. Ready? Nickel, nickel, thick and fat. You're worth five cents. I know that. How much is a nickel worth? Five cents. Show me on your hands like you're about to give someone a high five. Good job. Let's give a hair air high five through the screen. Ready? One, two, three, air high five. Boop. Awesome job. Ready? Let's read my next coin. Ready? Dime, dime. Little and thin. I remember you're worth ten. How much is a dime worth? Ten. Show me on your fingers. It's worth ten. It's worth ten. Awesome. So I know a penny is worth one. A nickel is worth five and a dime is worth ten. Friends, I'm going to go into my mystery bag. I'm going to keep this sheet up if you need it. I'm going to go in my mystery bag, see? And I'm going to pull out a coin and you have to tell me how much it is. Let's see if we can do it faster than last time. You think we can? I think we can. You lazy sleepy heads. <gasps> what coin? A dime. How much is it worth? Ten cents. Awesome job. What coin? A penny. How much is it worth? One cent. Awesome job. What coin? A nickel. How much is it worth? Five 
five cents. Awesome job. What coin? Ten cents. I mean, it's a dime. How much is it worth? Ten cents. Awesome job, Kipsters. And one more coin. What coin is this? It is a penny. I see that. It's a penny and it's worth one cent. I know a penny is worth one, a nickel is worth five, and a dime is worth ten. Now I'm going to say goodbye to my coins, but I'm going to stay tuned for next week because, Kipsters, on Monday, we're going to start counting the coins and the money. And I know that that's really cool because that's something you need in real life. You need that when you go to the stores to pay for things. You need that in real life. That's a skill you're going to always need. So we're going to learn how to do that on Monday. So stay tuned. But now let's say hi to my hundreds. Please say hey, hundreds. Let's say hello to my tens. Please say hello, tens. Please. Where is the tens? Please. Oh, there it is. And let's say hello to my ones, please. So I have my hundreds, my tens, and my ones. And I know that when we met last time, we had been out of school for 17 days. Let's count. Let's count. Ready? 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. We were out of school for 17 days, and I'm thinking, what is one more than 17 that can help us figure out how many days we've been out of school today, how many school days we've been out? I'm going to get one of my spaghetti. I'm going to put it in. Let's count together how many days we've been out of school. Ready? 10. I have my bundle of 10. Thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, ooh, seventeen, back, seventeen, eighteen. Kipsters, we've been out of school for eighteen days. That means we have been online learning for eighteen school days, and that is so so awesome that we are still able to learn with each other. I want you. Your job this weekend is to think about. What's one more than 18? Oh, my cups are falling. What's one more than 18? So I can be ready when Miss Linderberg asks me this question on Monday. All right, Kipsters, I hope you have a fabulous weekend with your family. Stay safe, and I love you all. Have a great weekend.